Welcome everybody to another episode of Rewind the Times, the show all about 80s and 90s and everything from the past. Uh, the first thing I noticed about uh, the channel is I actually did change the name. Um, I changed it from 80s, Rewind the Times, 90s, <clears throat> to, just eight, to just Rewind the Times. Because pretty much everything I talk about is the past. And some stuff I talk about, you know, is future stuff. But I kind of put it all underneath the umbrella. Plus the name just seems so long. Um, I just want to say, first of all, everybody's doing good. I am battling somewhat of a sore throat, so I do apologize if I do cough and, and, and sip my drink a little bit more than usual. <clears throat> I'm battling some sort of, a uh, little bit of laryngitis. Uh, I've been working out with my son at the gym and, um, talking over people and stuff. It's just, oh, my voice is just going. But uh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I wanted to come on today, and I want to talk about uh, some more Motu Origin stuff that I've been hearing about, and some pitches, and just some ideas, and kind of go over some things that I've been listening to. Um, as most people know, I I love Motu. I've always loved Masters of the Universe. It's a big, big thing of mine. I love collecting the Origins. I get so excited. I pretty much have everything that Origins has made, except for a few PowerCon toys, <clears throat> and I don't have the Stridor. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Stridor. Personally, I like Night Stalker better. Um, probably because I, uh, I tend to like the evil guys, the bad guys more than the good guys. Even though I collect them all. But if you look at like my top three or even top five figures, they're all bad guys. You know, I love Leech. I love Web Store, Jitsu, you know, uh, Snake Face. You know, those are my main guys that I like. So, But what I wanted to talk about today is some some... Wave 9 of Motu Origins, which have, has been pretty much confirmed and non-confirmed, and some pictures that I did see, and it looks like for Wave 9, <clears throat> that's going to be coming out pretty soon, is, is we have uh, He-Man from MYP, which is the 2000 series, uh, Skeletor, Mantana with four legs. See, I thought that he'd be like a deluxe, a deluxe figure, but he's not. He's not going to be that at all. I've seen the packaging for it, <clears throat> and it really is just four figures. Uh, but I love that they're expanding the evil horde. You know, we have the Hordak, and, you know, and it, the uh, Grizzlar is, is out, but he came in with the PowerCon, and I don't have him. I'm looking forward to his separate one. Um, he came in with the evil the evil horde uh, four-pack. Um, we have, you know, the um, the horde trooper, which I love. Um, they're making the Rotan. Now, I'm really excited about this, because if you go online and you look at the pictures that are leaked, the Rotan looks so cool. Um, it's got like two face, two faces. One of them I never recognized before. But one thing I love about the, this new Rotan is like a shield comes over, it so you he, so the the character's inside of a seat, <clears throat> and it looks like a seat, a, uh, like like a, it looks like he's like buckled into like a car, and there's like a, there's like a pot that comes over him, which is really different. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Which back in the day when you use the Rotan. It would just sit. Uh, it would just sit regular in it. Well, with this one, it's got like a, it's, it kind of like it's like like in a car. It's got like a, a, a you know piece that goes over it. But I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, they are making a two pack uh, a two pack of Teela and Zor, which is gonna be really really nice. Uh, hopefully, they can give Teela a sword and not make her knees look so bad. So I'm so excited about that. And that's wave nine. Um, now the thing is the thing that, that that struck me odd is I seen pictures and in Canada they have pre-orders for Whiplash that's coming out. I am really excited about that figure. Uh King Randor and I'm gonna say his name wrong, I'm sorry, it's from Rules of the Sun. Digi Digiton or Digimon. <clears throat> which I'm surprised because I thought Pigface would have came out first from Rules of the Sun. And then there's comic book trap draw. So I'm really excited about that line too. I just I'm just a little confused because I wasn't sure if that was Wave, wave nine, and then the other one with the He-Man from MYP and Skull Skeletor was supposed to be Wave ten, but it's not. Um, Axel Jimenez, who I'm friends with on Facebook, actually posted up some pictures, um, and it showed Wave nine. It showed three figures, and it showed Mantena, it showed the Rotan, <clears throat> and then it showed Skeletor and He-Man uh, from MYP, and they look they all look great. Uh, the car back, the car back, the car back looks awesome. The figures look really good. I like how they took like the, the, the concept of the Mantana and gave him the bug eyes, but with, instead of the two legs, they gave him the four legs. Because remember, the old figure back in the leg had like the double two legs next to each other. 
well this one it's like four legs it's pretty it's really really cool um and then i'm um, maybe wet wave 10 is supposed to be whiplash um king randor which i'm super excited about get him um comic book trap jar and digimon but i've also seen a three pack <clears throat> of rules of the sun um you know the one from sun man comes from so i'm not sure what they're doing with that but i just seen on facebook up uh somewhere i was looking up images uh, on Google, I'm sorry, not Facebook, and it did say rules of the pack, rules of the sun three pack. So it was pretty cool. It showed you know three different guys. Uh, I'm not like I said, I'm not I'm not super familiar with them. Growing up, I, I heard about them, but I never I never collected them or anything. Matter of fact, the original one is so valuable. Uh, if you can get your hands on him, uh, Sun Man, he, uh, he can go for you know three, four grand, sometimes eight grand if he's still in the package. So. Um, but I'm really, really excited about it's coming out with Mortal Origins. Um, if it, it really does seem like this, this, this line's going on strong, especially since it's the 40th anniversary of He-Man, <clears throat> which is so cool. Um, you know, the new figures have like the 40th anniversary uh, emblem on it. The only, the only thing that the only thing I wish they would do is instead of just giving us four figures at a time, I really wish they would they'd give us like maybe like six or seven, you know, maybe even eight. Um, I guess maybe it's a consumer thing, and maybe just the economy, because maybe, it, you know, I guess with more figures, it is kind of more expensive. But it feels like, you know, you only get four at a time. It feels like we could, we could be doing this forever. Um, I have heard rumors of the Snake Men coming out. I am super, super excited about that, because like I said, I do like Snake Face. Um, you know what I mean? He's one of my, you know, King Hiss. He's one, uh, Snake Face is one of my favorite characters. It's King Hiss. I mean, that is just an awesome... You know, snake men are just awesome. Um, I have heard um, uh, some some mentions about snake uh, about snake mountain, which would be really cool. So it really does seem like this Motu Origins is going on strong. Um, I like to see a two pack a two pack with um a two pack with um Evil Lin and Screech. I think that'd be really really cool in the future. I've heard Snout Spout, um, which I like him a lot. I love Snout. I love Snout. Uh, I, I think his character is just so interesting, man. He's actually one of the most underrated characters I think in the whole. Um, He-Man universe, uh, especially with the good guys. He came, he came out later on in the in the line. I think like 87, 87 or eighty six. But I just love his figure. I just love the commercial. I always remember the commercial and shooting the water and knocking down the bridge that Skeletor was standing on. Um, so so like I said, man, it just it's Motu Origins is just coming. It's still going strong, man. And I love this. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, <clears throat> Anytime I get any any bit of information, you know, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you. I want to go back to doing um, <clears throat> the once a week. I want to do the um, the classic review on the, on the classic Motu toys. I know I haven't done that in a while. Um, work just work keeps me so busy. I work six days a week, and then I you know I have my children. I talk about it all the time, but. It really is true. Sometimes it's hard to find time. That's why I always guarantee at least one video. But my my heart, I want to do more than one video. So um, I just reached 92 subscribers. So I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and even the old ones. Thank you so much, guys. It, it really it baffles me that 92 people care about what I say. It means the world to me, and I'm very humbled by it. And thank you again. Thank you so much. I never came out here, like I said, to be an icon or make money off of this. You know, I just like. I like meeting people like myself and talking about things I just love, you know? I remember growing up, um, you know, people would kind of like shame shame me that I collected toys and I really didn't, <clears throat> I really didn't talk uh, to a lot of people about it um, until I started getting older and I started feeling more comfortable with myself, which just, which just is, <clears throat> which just proves, just be true to who you are. And unfortunately, um, I hid it from people. I collected them, but I really didn't talk about them that much. And I always wanted to meet people like myself. And, you know, there was a few people throughout the years that I did, <clears throat> that I didn't meet. I did like, the, you know, some toys and, you know, but I lost connection with them. You know, just life gets busy, you know what I mean? You grow up and families and people move away. But it's been really, really cool to talk to a lot of you guys who leave comments, which I really, really appreciate. I'm so thankful for that. Anybody that leaves a comment, I will always... I will always definitely get back to you. Um, I just, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the view. Uh, you know, just checking out and seeing what I got to say. Um, but, uh, hey, so what are you guys most excited about what I just talked about? Um, again, I apologize I apologize a lot for my voice. Um, I'm struggling so bad just, just talking. <clears throat> but I wanted to come on here and do, do a video. 
um, I do want to do another video on a classic figure, and I, I, I'm going to do it on Whiplash. Um, I haven't done one on him, and now that he's coming out with an Origins figure, I definitely want to do uh, to do a, a review on him. I love that figure. That figure is just so cool. I love the bad guys. But uh, let me, you know, tell me who you're excited about, you know, when the Snake Man or the Wave 9 or Wave 10 I was talking about. Um, are you excited for a Night Stalker to come out? Uh, I was excited. I'm super excited for Night Stalker. Eventually, I'm going to pick up Strider. I just haven't bought him yet, but eventually I'll end up picking him up. So, uh, so listen, I hope everyone takes care of themselves. hope everyone's being safe. And remember, God first in family. And until the next video, take care. Thanks a lot.